Well, a warm welcome to you as you join us for this neighbourly clash between England and Wales. It was, of course, one of the most frequently played internationals for a good part of a century, and there was always a very healthy sense of rivalry. Some things have changed since then, but not the interest that is derived when this game comes round once more. There is something special, whatever the sport, when these two nations meet, and that specialness is very evident in the ambience which surrounds us now. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And we rise now for the English national anthem. as friendly as it can be in the circumstances but you feel the rivalry well, I'm sitting here Peter thinking is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances this exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry to me it also has the same feel to it and I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative high intensity affair we can't really say anything negative about this and if it is full on then I'll be happy to watch that so it's down to business here Jim who do you reckon is pivotal uh, a fairly easy choice for me this one Aaron Ramsey um, what has helped him to elevate his game is the timing of his forward running he's transformed his contribution from good to great since he increased his appetite for goals and boy can he score a beauty yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much that's great strength on the ball. Allen. Played out to the right. Well read, he sorted that out. Rashford. Barkley. Rashford. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Ramsey. And it's Ramsey, loses his balance and loses the ball. Wales have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitches. That's a pop! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. England are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Ramsey. Allen. Could move up a gear here. He's had a look. It's Rashford! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal.
big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make it one-way traffic and add to this lead. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Maguire puts it behind for a corner. Brooks plays it short. Here's the ball in. Great leap! No, not the best of headers. I think he deserves credit for, for getting something away, given that he had to contend with a, a double dose of closing down. Barkley, looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. And here's Sterling, towering header! Good delivery, no joy. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Ramsey. Ramsey tries making a foray down the right. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Barkley plays it forward. And the counter-attack is on for England. He's played him through. Now... Sterling! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Up to meet it! Decent enough try. Rashford certainly did his utmost to keep that down, but he couldn't quite engineer the right control. Ramsey. Sees it out of harm's way. And here's Kane, cut out in the nick of time. Chilwell, massively! It's a goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the party, this fella is definitely no slouch. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Lepham. Oh, 
Out for a throw. Ball's out. It'll be a throw in again. Rashford. Hoists it forward. Deli Alley. And it's Chilwell. Out to the right. What a ball that shoots! And it's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. England take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Now it's Bale. Ramsey. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the counter is on. Rice drives it forward. And it's Walker. This could... It's Kane! Rashford, and a second time! And he should have made it four. And so he's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? England, 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. So we're already into the second period. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. Allen. Well, that's where he wants it. There will be a throw-in. Barkley, Kyle Walker, he's put it on the right now, what's on, pumps it into the area, and it's played forward, looking to break out here, good ball, uh, it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing, it's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Barkley, Maguire, forward it goes. Chilwell gets into a dangerous position. Davis does well to read it and intercepts. Stones tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Kane. Walker. Kane with a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Alan. Rice, Rashford, he's away, who's ball, who's going to get there, and here's Rashford, 
Finds himself eased off the ball. Forward it goes. Wales ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Well, they can break here. He's got options out wide. Hurls himself at it! Oh, that is an awful miss. England were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Has he found his man? And it's Bale. Bale. And they win it back again. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Rashford plays it forward. He's left his man. Stunning! It goes to show he is human after all. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. So here comes the substitution. Mepham tries to get it forward quickly. Bale. And it's Sterling. He's through the middle. Deli Ali has it out wide and in space. And very necessary. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Davis is fouled. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, better late than never, Peter, although it may not apply in this case um, after a hat trick. Ramsey. Walker, he does have an assist to his name. England are coasting towards victory. has got good distance on that. Bale looking to run onto it. Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And here's Allen. Now it's Sterling. Barkley. It's Barkley! Great football, shot and save.
run. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. The end of the game. Reflections. England made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class.